Guys, uh, in the last video we started off with diabetes mellitus. We looked at the definition. And in this video we want to look at uh, the classification and uh, etiology of uh, diabetes mellitus. So basically this is an etiological classification, right? So just look at this. I hope you are able to see clearly. We have type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes mellitus, type 1 diabetes mellitus, type 2 diabetes mellitus, other specific types of diabetes and then you have gestational diabetes mellitus, gestational, gestational diabetes mellitus. So which is the most common one? As soon as you see, you will be able to see that type 2 is most common. Are you able to see here? Type 2 is the most common type of diabetes mellitus. This is non-insulin dependent. This is non-insulin dependent. So it is, you cannot just give insulin because the person has insulin but he is not able to take up the insulin. So this is non-insulin dependent. This is the most common type of diabetes. Type 1 is uh, insulin dependent. If you give insulin, it is cured. Earlier it was called as juvenile onset diabetes because this was seen in younger people more. Okay. So they have some terminologies. Let us go into the details here. So did you understand this much that there is type 1 diabetes mellitus, type 2 diabetes mellitus, type uh, other types of diabetes mellitus and gestational diabetes mellitus. This gestational diabetes mellitus comes only with pregnancy and it kind of goes away after pregnancy. <clears throat> now type 1 diabetes mellitus is insulin dependent, type 2 diabetes mellitus is non-insulin dependent. Other specific types of diabetes are, uh, we'll go into the details later. And then you have gestational diabetes mellitus, okay, 4%. So the maximum will be type 2 diabetes mellitus, insulin, non-insulin dependent, okay. So let us look at the earlier type of classification. Earlier you had juvenile onset diabetes, maturity onset diabetes, etc., However, now those terms are not used. Insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, this is also called as IDDM. IDDM means insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. Similarly, you will have non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. Okay? And non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus is the most common and it is seen in older people. Okay? What else? Let us go into the details of type 1 diabetes mellitus. Shall we do that guys? Are you ready to go into the type 1 diabetes mellitus details? It is just 10% of the cases. Okay. Earlier it was called as JOD that is juvenile onset diabetes. Earlier it was called as juvenile onset diabetes because it occurs more in younger people. It was insulin. It is insulin dependent. Okay. <clears throat> And now you have two subtypes under this that is you have insulin sorry type 1 and A diabetes mellitus and type 1 B diabetes mellitus. Type 1 B diabetes mellitus. So type 1 A is immune mediated and type 2 B is idiopathic. So idiopathic means the cause is not known. So let us look at the subtype. Subtype actually they should call it a subtype. I don't like them calling it as type. Subtype 1A diabetes mellitus, subtype 1B diabetes mellitus. The subtype 1A that is immune mediated diabetes mellitus is characterized by autoimmune destruction of beta cells which usually leads to insulin deficiency. So what is being affected by the immune system? What is the immune system of attacking? It is autoimmune destruction of beta cells. So, of the beta cells of the pancreas. I hope you know this much that insulin is made by the beta cells of the pancreas. So, if the beta cells of the pancreas are destroyed by the immune system, autoimmune, autoimmune, this is an autoimmune mediated, autoimmune mediated destruction of beta cells, this will lead to insulin deficiency. So, you should know here what, what the problem is. The problem is there is insulin deficiency okay insulin deficiency will be there coming to the idiopathic subtype 
सब टाइप वन डी डायबिटिस मेलिटिस और इडियोपैथिक डायबिटिस मेलिटिस इट इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय इंसुलिन डिफिशियंसी विथ टेंडेंसी टू डेवलप कीटोसिस बट दीज पेशेंट्स आर नेगेटिव फॉर ऑटो इम्यून मार्कर्स Again, insulin deficiency. Obviously, we are in type one diabetes mellitus, so obviously insulin deficiency. But here, they do not have any autoimmune markers, so we really don't know why they got this problem. No autoimmune markers. That means the con the case is idiopathic. We do not know the cause. They have a tendency to develop ketosis. Okay, they have a the patients have a tendency to develop ketosis okay nothing much related to what we are talking here however you should know because of the etiology this is a etiological classification that means because of the cause we are putting the cause is the major criteria here so that is the basis of the classification so here you are saying the cause is immune related autoimmune mediated destruction of beta cells and then you have the idiopathic causes for insulin deficiency so insulin deficiency due to autoimmune cause or idiopathic cause type 1 diabetes mellitus okay this was earlier called as juvenile onset diabetes okay but it can occur at any age okay so earlier the name was given now this name this name is not used anymore okay because it can occur at any age this autoimmune mediated destruction of beta cells can happen at any age fine so let us move on to type 2 diabetes mellitus i think if you are fine we will continue in the next video let's not overload you so let's revise what we have seen so far we have just seen the we've started off with the classification of diabetes mellitus etiological classification so in etiological classification you have type 1 diabetes mellitus type 2 diabetes mellitus other specific types of diabetes and then you have gestational diabetes mellitus just let us look at this other specific types of diabetes mellitus genetic defect of beta cell function ge genetic defect in insulin action disease of pancreas endocrinopathies drug or chemical induced diabetes mellitus infections like congenital rubella cytomegalovirus can cause deficiency of sorry um, diabetes mellitus uncommon forms of immune mediated diabetes mellitus like stiffman syndrome anti insulin receptor antibodies other genetic syndromes like down syndrome kleinfelter syndrome turner syndrome So all these people might later land up in diabetes mellitus. Okay, And then you have the gestational diabetes mellitus, which is the fourth category. This occurs in pregnancy. So we have finished overall the classification. Meet in the next video for type two. Okay, details on type two. See you. Bye bye.